Let's start with uh, today if, at home. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be a pinata, uh, <laughs> watch the House of Representatives today because Jonathan Gruber, you may not know that name. Uh, if you follow health care policy, maybe you do. He's an economist. He's noted in both camps for being a re relatively brilliant economist when it comes to health care numbers. But he's going to be in the chair at a House committee hearing today because he had said a number of things that Republicans believe, A, prove he's arrogant, and B, that they hope helps them in their efforts going on for several years now to repeal Obamacare. First, to refresh your course, here's Jonathan Gruber. What if we instead just levied a 40% tax on the insurance companies that sell these terrible, expensive Cadillac plans? We said, well, that's pretty much the same thing. But why does it matter? I said, you'll see. And they were both in that pass. The American voters are too stupid to understand the difference. <laughs> Lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical to getting the thing to pass. I don't normally give advice in this segment, but one piece of advice to Jonathan Gruber, if you think the American people, voters, are stupid, uh, keep that to yourself. Um, <laughs> don't, don't speak out publicly about that, because they are anything but the voters. Uh, what's the meaning of this? He'll be before the House Government Op uh, Oversight and Reform Committee. Republicans say that this proves that the Obama administration knew some of the things they were publicly saying about the health care law weren't true. Kind of a shell game is what the Republicans are trying to argue. Uh, when you call voters stupid, uh, you, I guess you deserve... Uh, a hearing like this to get your side of it, but is it going to do anything to change the law? I don't think so. I think this will be a public flogging of Jonathan Gruber. It's one of ISA's last hearings as chairman before he passes the torch over to Jason Chaffetz. But I don't think what it, what could change the law is the Supreme Court ruling over whether state uh, whether states with um, federal exchanges whether that's legal, so whether they should be getting those um, um, subsidies. That could change it. I don't think anything that Jonathan Gruber says or does in this hearing really really moves the needle there. And so they hope to just flog him and get him to say sorry? Well, they're going to flog him because, as you pointed out, whenever you call the American voters stupid on camera, you know, you're going to get yours. Yeah. Um, I, it's going to be more interesting to watch the person sitting either next to him or on a different panel uh, who actually runs the enrollment and the implementation of Obamacare. We're going to hear a lot more substantive questions coming. Um, obviously, they're looking to tar her with his uh, unfortunate comments. But it's going to be interesting to hear them ask about, are these enrollment numbers for real? 